Hello and welcome to Hacker Boxes. We are here today with our Hacker Box number 0038. The theme for Hacker Box number 0038 is Technodactyl, dactyl meaning finger. Um, we have some interesting technologies this, in this box that have to do with, um, with uh, things to do that have to do with fingers and hands. First in the box here we have um, wrapped up in bubble wrap a, a finger fingerprint um, reader module. There is a wiring harness that goes with that module here. And to interface with that we have a an Arduino Nano microcontroller board. I can show you they're pretty easy to wire up. The um, harness plugs into the back of the fingerprint reader and there are only four of the wires that are used. Uh, one is for 3.3 volts, one is ground, and then there's a transmit and receive that go to pins two and three on the, um, the Arduino Nano and then obviously a USB cable to the PC and you can uh, uh, use some demo programs that are linked in the box guide. Um, we have some really nice uh, swag items in this in this box. We have the um, uh, a hacker box is uh, branded forging elite hardware hackers decal, and a um, a quad decal that has four small decals on it that can be cut out and used. And then we have a Chairborn Ranger patch, um, which is an iron-on patch. You can uh, iron on to your bag or jacket or hat. Another item in this bag box is uh, in the Technodactyl box is the uh, a little spool of um, uh, desoldering wick, desoldering braid. That's always useful and also useful for soldering, especially when you're doing some surface mount work. Is a pair of uh, ESD safe tweezers. And then we have a really cool kit. Um, soldering kit that's actually a, um, a, a a fidget spinner kit so you can spin with your fingers after you read your fingerprints let's get this opened up here and there's uh, these batteries uh, are the right size that are CR 1220s that fit in the uh, fidget fidget spinner on the on the fidget spinner board inside the fidget spinner uh, bag there are some instructions there's a uh, Probably a little better version of these instructions are uh, in the box guide. Might be a little, little more easier to follow than the ones on paper, but we do have that. And then there are several pieces of cut acrylic that make up the body of the fidget spinner, and then a PCB that uh, supports the uh, circuitry. A bearing that goes into the center of the spinner for it to spin. And these smaller pieces of acrylic um, uh, are, serve as a button and then also as a, a hub around the around the bearing. There are two tiny microcontrollers. Um, some hardware for screwing the acrylic pieces together and then the LEDs, capacitors, resistors, and uh, battery holders, coin cell holders that go onto the PCB. So a little bit of a uh, um, service mount soldering to practice with there. Uh, make sure you, uh, you make good use of your tweezers. It's um, a pretty, a pretty um, easy surface mount as far as surface mount goes. Uh, start with the microcontrollers and make sure you line the uh, pin one indicator up. And well, there's some good instructions in the box guide for how to do that. Um, as we see with the uh, the little more clearly here with this this kit, there's um, a few different surface mount components. There's two different values of resistors. There's a decoupling capacitor, which there's two of. Um, there's the, L the actual LEDs. There's, there's quite a few LEDs. It's a uh, pretty high resolution spinner. Um, as you can see with the, um, the completed spinner kit here, it's actually uh, uh, has a lot of nice uh, modes that it can go into using the, uh, the button to interface that. So. Next in the box here, we have the um, a DigiSpark AT Tiny 85 board. So this is the little board that can plug right into USB, or you can use the also in the box is a USB extender. 
you can um, plug the USB extender into a computer and then plug the DigiSpark into the USB extender. Let's, let's see how that works out. There's some pins there you can solder on. And you can see that the actual PCB fits of the of the DigiSpark fits right in. And there's a little um, AT Tiny 85 microcontroller on there that can be programmed. And um, uh, people use these sometimes for playing with the uh, rubber rubber ducky um, systems or bad USB or things like that that uh, let you uh, do some um, intrusion testing intrusion um, uh, testing where you can take over the inputs on the computer to control the mouse input and keyboard input and there's different payloads you can load onto it and um, read more about that in the links in the uh, in the box guide. Let's see. Um, the last uh, little items we have in the box, there's uh, people are often asking us about level shifting. So we threw in a couple of these level shifting boards. So there's th these are each four-way level shifters. So there's eight level shifting channels, and they're bi-directional, and they can level shift between 5 and 3.3 volts. So when you're interfacing something that is not 5-volt compatible, so for example, the fingerprint reader on in, the, in this box here, it's a 3.3-volt fingerprint reader, but the, uh, the transmit and receive lines are... are safe to use with 5 volts. So level shifting is not really needed with that device, but sometimes you do use some devices that are, let's say they're 5 volts and you're using them with a ESP32 or a, a STM32 and you need to uh, shift that 5 volts of the module down to a 3.3 volt for the processor, or vice versa, you're working with a 5 volt processor like the Nano in this box and you have a 3.3 volt module you're interfacing with. These bi-directional level shifters come in really handy. So have a couple of those in the box. So we're pretty excited about this box. There's a lot of fun things here. We have a fidget spinner, spin, a fidget spinner kit to practice your soldering on and keep your hands busy while you're not uh, uh, doing your fingerprint reading on your fingerprint scanner. Fun microcontroller to work with, some soldering uh, supplies, a uh, uh, desoldering braid and tweezers, and then some nice swag. We really hope you enjoy uh, the uh, patch and do something fun with that. We, we, we really like that. Uh, funny notion. All right, so uh, we hope this uh, HackerBox uh, 038, the Technodactyl box, um, is a lot of fun for everybody, and we appreciate your following along, and head on over to hackerboxes.com and uh, find the box guide for this, and if you're not a HackerBoxes subscriber, check out our monthly HackerBoxes offering and also our one-time purchases. We also have some shirts and sticker packs and things like that. All of our educational material is free online. And also, um, if you can, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and uh, follow us on YouTube. We're going to try to put out some, uh, some more educational videos in the future. All right. Thanks for uh, checking us out. Bye-bye.